Do you have any weaknesses in battle rap? I don't got no weaknesses, period. <laughs> like, I know the science, so I don't, I don't got no weaknesses. All right. Oh, hey, I'm glad you said the science, because the next thing, let's get off of uh, the diss track with 40 Cal. I want to talk about the science of battle rap. I don't really know what the the science is right now. Could you kind of break that down to me a little bit? And for the other people out there that don't, don't understand. I kind of have a concept, but I don't really know. Nah, I can't. I can't break it down for you in this interview. It's just like it's like you would have to take a class. It's not something that you'll be able to understand. And just just me telling you right now, just like you wouldn't be able to understand biology or chemistry or algebra or physics in one conversation like it would it, it would take multiple conversations studying and and you actually dealing with problems and things like that to actually know it but um a lot of people don't understand what i mean when i'm talking about the science and i know that that's the reason why people Rate rap how they do, judge battle rap how they do. They do it off opinion, but not by no, by the science. They're not judging it by nothing. They don't got nothing to judge it by. They just judge it on whether they like it or not. <laughs> and, and that's what I mean. The science is breaking down everything about writing a rap, everything about hip hop. It's like, um, it's rules, it's regulations, it's guidelines. It's certain things that's easy to do and certain things that's difficult to do. And if you don't know the science, it'll be hard for you to figure that out. Like a line that you just said from me, when I'm rhyming about six syllables, a person to hear a line like that, and then hear a person rhyming old school feel like one or two syllables, and they'll think they hold the same amount of weight, or it's just the same. It was like, you could write that line the same way you write that line. They won't be able to understand it or judge it. Like, you know what I'm saying? When you said the lines I just said, most people won't even be able to understand that I rhyme six syllables. When I say the word syllable, people don't even understand exactly what I mean because they wasn't paying attention to English class when they was teaching about syllables. So it's like, like a lot of people don't even understand what I'm fully saying. So I understand that they don't understand the science. Like, you know what I mean? And that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to teach. Everybody not on the same speed. It's, un it's people that understand the science more than others. You know what I mean? But I understand it fully, and I could teach people on any level. And it's not going to be based off my opinion or what I think or what I like. It's going to be based off real information, real facts, and real work that real people put in. Right. Okay. So I kind of... I kind of got a got an idea you know what i'm saying i just don't know the specifics you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna i'm gonna bring something up from your um from your battle verse goods and i think in this is the science and i think it tell me if i'm right in here but it's it's long it's kind of long because you know you you it's all tying together you know what i'm saying it ain't like just two bars here and that's what you're doing you're doing it's more like a paragraph and it's all tied in together so feel me on this and tell me if i'm kind of on the path on the right path all right um I, and i and i brought some of this up before in our other interview but I, I didn't have it all together so i think i got it together so it says um you said in your battle verse good you said shots will shots will clap wait wait, wait. shots will Shots will clap the fifth on me like I shop at Saks, cock it back and clap at your dad hat. I'm popping caps. That was super hard. And then you said, um, still continuing on that. I got this strap so I don't have to scrap, but I'm punching every line. When I drop a rap, it's like a boxing match. You get the picture goods, screen save it. You could get buried or cremated goods. Um, you could pick a box or match. Um, that line went over a lot of heads. Stocking cap. I'm wavy. 
came here to do niggas greasy was popping smack. So in that, I think you saying like you're demonstrating the science of battle rap in all of that tying together and flowing. Is that kind of, I'm kind of on the path or I ain't? Um, I mean, that's a form of the science. I was rhyming three syllables multiple times and still piecing up figurative language while doing it. So it's not easy to do. Like if you was rhyming one or two syllables, so it's difficult. It's not the most advanced form of the science, but it is difficult to piece up thoughts and have conversation rap like that pieced up with those type of syllables. <laughs> right. Hey, somebody, like, go ahead. Like stocking cap, popping caps, like, you know what I'm saying? Like when I'm dropping raps and like all of that shit is like three syllables. You know what I mean? But I'm just saying it in conversation form, not like I'm forcing around three syllables like niggas be reading from the rhyming dictionary. It's not like that. Like I'm just talking, just having conversation, but there's that many syllables pieced up all the time. And it's difficult to do like that. And if you study the science, you will know that. That's why a lot of rappers don't do that because it's difficult to do. And if it wasn't, then you would hear other rappers do it, but they can't. Right. And I've been doing that shit since I started. Like when I first started, the first raps niggas ever heard from me, I was piecing up three, four, five syllables and never going to the next line without rhyming off the last syllables that I was rhyming off of and using a bunch of figurative language consistently. Nobody never rapped like that ever before. Until this day, people try to do it, but they're not doing it right. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so in regards to the science of rap, so now I'm going to compare something. I'm going back. I'm going to stay on the cast. You versus Goods battle. I'm going to say something he said. And it, it, when I was looking for something, okay, so the science of battle rap, I, I got this, I got yours together. Then I compared his together. His don't tie all together like yours was tying together. His is like shorter little pieces, and he just put all the pieces together, as yours is more like it's all going together. So, look, he said this. Um, I'm investing uh, money watching the stock exchange. They marvel how I still make the blocks move like Dr. Strange. What you got paid your last show, that's my pocket change. Yours went from pregnant to anorexic. It's sad how your pocket changed. So you're saying like when he's not, he's not doing what you do, if we compare his little parts He's not doing a, as many syllables as you. He's not tying it all together like you. And that's nah, what- that's a three that's a three syllable piece up that he's doing. You know what I'm saying? Pocket change and all of that. And okay. You know what I'm saying? And Doctor, Doctor Strange. Strange and like that's a three syllable piece up. But somebody wrote that. That's not even his thoughts. Like them Doctor Strange lines, we all know who be around them who wrote that. And a bunch of niggas already did them type of like um superhero type of lines and it's like you know what i mean it, it wasn't effective to me in the battle like what did they, what what did he say in that part that could affect me though yeah and i don't believe you it's like i don't believe that you i think you i don't know if you brought this line up before but i just said i don't believe you make blocks move like dr strange and do all this shit you talking and i just it ain't real to me. Like your lifestyle and your resume don't even go with them type of lines that you're saying. So it's like, why do people let niggas do that? Like, I don't, I don't get that. That's why the industry kind of, not just the industry, but battle rap, all that shit is kind of fucked up because niggas be letting a lot of that shit slide too much. Like, Yeah, I feel you. It's a lot of people in battle rap they get away with saying stuff that they never do in real life and that's what's kind of turned me off from a lot of uh a lot of battle rap everybody saying they doing this and doing that and they they not doing it now, this shit ain't gotta be 100 percent real because that ain't gonna be too entertaining at least let the shit you be talking about be based off a true story and you know what i mean you, you, you 
you got information to give when you're rapping about those topics. These niggas just be saying shit because they heard somebody else say it. <laughs> right. 